Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sulky Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And this is another week in my life, a weekly vlog. All right guys, this is my vanity. And as you can see, it's not the biggest. And I have, excuse how I look. And I have quite a few things on here. So I'm trying to figure out where the heck am I going to put this beauty refrigerator that I got for Christmas. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know. I got to This is my skincare little tray. So let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to park you guys up. how it's looking uh i'm still not a big fan it looks cluttered to me i don't know because this because the back part of it sticks out so far i can't just like push it up against the wall so it's sticking out and i don't really like the way that looks so i don't really know what else to do but if i decide something else i'm gonna let y'all know I know you guys are have a huge following on YouTube with the Clever News and then also Clever Style. And I know on the news portion, which is more entertainment, which I'm, I love entertainment, pop culture, all that good stuff, trending topics. And I noticed that you guys upload almost every day, which is just from like an analytical standpoint, I understand it's super duper important. Um, just with the whole YouTube algorithm, if you know, the more you upload every day, the more viewers, the more subscribers, just the more eyes go to to the channel which obviously brings in revenue attention and it's great for the brand um, I know you guys do um, I'm sorry what is it newsfeed um, like a Hollywood rundown all right hey guys so as y'all just saw I just did my interview with uh clever news and yeah so how the process works is it's a total of three interviews so with the first lady who you guys saw me talking with and then she sends like my notes and my resume and my information um to the hiring manager and they interview me and then like the general manager after that or something like that but yeah i think the interview went pretty well um i mean all i can do is express what I can do but I can kind of tell that her main concern was the relocation part as I told you guys in my last vlog which you should check out if you haven't watched it already I'm in Georgia and the job is in California but the job will begin remotely but even with it being remote I still have to relocate y'all I just got done talking to the camera for 10 minutes it wasn't even recorded anyway so guys I'm back home well today is Wednesday I just came back home from a little coffee run to Dunko I get a caramel mocha iced coffee with cream no sugar made with oat milk um, and I don't do the sugar because the caramel and the mocha is like a substitution for just the raw sugar but anywho whoo I know y'all tired of seeing any braids but I'm about to take these braids out and do my hair real quick and then I'm filming uh, a video two videos actually I'm filming a no makeup makeup look and then I'm also filming a plan with me because I got my new planner in the mail and I'm so excited about it
wanted to show y'all that my um planner that I've been telling you guys about finally came in the mail this is from the company booked super excited that it's a black owned business by two black girls and they have a planner and stationery company and when I tell you their planners are awesome I love their planners so much this is how it looks I'm so excited because this is the deluxe one which is the big one uh, it's way bigger than the normal size planner and it's just so good it's so good and it came with um, a little marker it came with the page flag I'm actually we're doing a whole video a plan with me video so you guys be on the lookout for it that like it comes with a vision board sheet for you to fill out it comes with um big rocks little rocks goals sheet a note sheet a meal um meal prepping sheet professional goals per personal goals fitness goals all kinds of stuff y'all i love them so make sure you guys be on the lookout my plan with me video and y'all will see even more details about this planner from the bookstore if you guys want to check it out the bookstore and they have after pay or quad pay or whatever so it's just good i'm loving this little braid ponytail that i've been doing lately super easy super convenient i love what my edges are like you feel me so yes sir mom i called because um well i don't know what to do or what to say i'm gonna forge you the email and i don't know what to do from there anyways guys uh i don't know what to say i told you guys about the job with uh clever news and being the content manager and i interviewed for it so I went through the first interview. She recommended me, like she thought I was a good fit for the job. So she recommended me to the hiring manager. But the hiring manager is interested in me, which is what the other lady said. She's highly interested in hiring me, but she doesn't want to hire me unless I'm willing and able to move to Los Angeles as soon as possible, like within the next couple of weeks. I don't know what to do. This could be the start, finally, of my possible career in media or in entertainment because I could put this on my resume and then I can you know just go up from there but moving first off like if this was in New York I would feel even more comfortable with it because New York is still like on the east coast Georgia is on the southeast California is literally across the country I've never been to California oh it's just so many things that come into play like where the heck am I gonna stay it's just so much to deal with it's overwhelming I was in the bed crying this morning it's of course great news and I'm super thankful I just don't know what to do but if it's up then it's up then it's up then it's y'all I'm literally just riding around. well I just left finally getting the tags on my car y'all waited in line for three hours I got me some Zaxby's Cause I'm starving like Marvin but um yeah I've talked to my mom I've talked to my dad I've talked to um, one of my really good friends y'all I just don't know what to do and then I have like two or I like I have like such a short deadline to make a decision so I think I'm gonna make a list of pros and cons my friend Akia she thinks I should take the chance she said give it six months you can always come back and that's the part that kind of like sold me like it's not like if I go out there that's it if something goes wrong if it's if you know if I'm not liking it if it's not for me I can always come back home but I never I'll never know if I if I don't try and she was just saying like life is about taking risks especially in this field with great risk come reward I'm hitting y'all with all the corny quotes today boy I'm really just trying to put them in my own head mind you I haven't gotten the job yet I've just moved on to part two <laughs> 